Say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm in the captain's chair tonight. <laughs> um, Melissa is going to be um, on the side answering um, the questions. And I can kind of see some of them as they come up. Um, Say hi as you come in. Hi, guys. Um, hi, so... Barbara. Hi, Ange. <laughs> or Angie. Hi, Carmen. We're not doing a tutorial tonight. No We're tutorial. Just... Very laid back. Very... Hanging out. Hanging out with you guys. I know it's one week till uh, till Christmas, the last weekend before everyone is out shopping for Christmas. Um, Hi, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel on this side? <laughs> it's a little different on this side. <laughs> um, but just a couple things. Um, you know, Melissa received a uh, craft outlet box today. So... Uh, don't know which one it is. We'll you see guys are going to be joining me open it. as I open this one. I know there's a certain other gentleman who does the same thing, so I kind of took his idea. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody might know Nick from Season Two Cores. Um, he does this a lot, and I figured it'd be a fun way to kind of interact with everybody in, in a very relaxed environment. Um, you know, so um, Merry Christmas, Barbara, to you as well and to your family. Thank you, Barbara. Um, so again, we're just going to be very laid back and chill. Mel's not doing anything right now. Um, Korea, uh, she's uh, working on a few things right now. We have uh, Valentine's um, Reese that we're uh, going to be working on. Yes. Um, so stay tuned for those. Uh, right now we went and got a couple of signs that I just spray painted. So right now we're waiting for those to dry. Um, and Mel. Hi, April. <laughs> and Mel, of course, being the way she, you know, Gave me my list to do, so this is my honey-do list <laughs> of stuff I can talk about. <laughs> she wanted to make sure I got I got it and I was organized for this and not just rambling on, because I'll still ram I'll ramble. Yes, Carmen, we went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, anybody who's joining us, um, if you guys can, let people know that we're not really making anything tonight. Again, hanging out. We're just going to watch me open up this box here and talk about a few things. Um, you know, especially with the fact that we're getting so close to the end of the year, um, and just talk about where we come from, from what, six months ago? Oh, sure. Yeah. Six months ago till <laughs> now. Um, and you know what we, what we might have planned for, for 2018. So without further ado, let's open the box. Everybody, I'm going to open up the box. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Hi, Robin. Hi, Dad. Hi, Tanya. I don't normally get to do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is so She's cool. always in the, in the, you know, talking about uh, what she's making or giving you guys heads up on how to do something. I'm usually the one who's doing it all. All right. Hopefully, I didn't puncture anything. I think you're good. <laughs> I'm going to put my knife away. <laughs> All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. What do we have? What do we have? Ooh. <laughs> Pastels. Yes. That must mean that Mel ordered for Easter. Spring. Probably Easter. A little bit of all of it. Yeah. So what we have here. <laughs> Tubing. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tubing. 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 Green tubing. All right. So I'm sure somehow, some way, Mel will find a way to use this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the tubing. Hi, Vicki. Welcome. We have Easter eggs. Again, remember I said pastels. And yes, I know what a pastel is. <laughs> so these would be glittery Easter eggs. I'm sure Mel will use these as a, for an Easter uh, themed wreath. I do have a plan for those. All right, there you go. See, she's got a plan. <laughs> that is. What does it say? Tinsel rope tinsel for rope. making your own work forms. So basically, what you do is, um, hang on, and let me grab you a work form. Oh, here we go. Hi, Lisa. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming in. I know. Uh, We've kind of sprung this on you guys, and but that's just the way I am. 
you take one of these and instead of using chenille stems or pipe cleaners, you cut off sections of this. And this is the thicker ones that you can actually um, leave as part of your design, you know, curl them, leave them in there. And, and they go really well. So that's what those are. <laughs> we've got brown ones, we've got white ones, we've got black ones. <laughs> oh, there's a red one in there. Yes, I'm emptying this box out and giving it right to her. Okay. <laughs> I'll make her work a little bit like it does me when I'm over on the other side. So I'll there you go. I'll love it more. Black and red. <clears throat> Is there only one red? Yeah. I honestly thought that I ordered more. But, okay. Might come in another order. Maybe. So we, now we get into the ribbons. Ooh, Ooh. Ribbon. Not sure if y'all can see that. Let's look at the, Blue. the quality of the ribbon. I'm kind of curious. Oh, this is very nice canvas ribbon. Super thick. Very thick. I don't know if you guys can see. Super nice. I Hi, like Minnesota. This. Minnesota. Hi, Minnesota. Texas. Where in Texas? Where did you get snow? Hi, Lisa in Pennsylvania. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. It's a little out of uh, what we typically do. I know when you see us, we're typically doing tutorials. Um, tonight, we just wanted to come hang out. We never really do that. Um, we've been so busy with the move and getting settled here that there's not a lot of time left. So just wanted to hang out with everybody tonight. It doesn't always have to be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, formal. Formal. <laughs> I'm not much for formal, as you guys can tell. Um, and those who have been tracking, I'm starting to grow the beard back out. See that? Look at Yay! That. Growing it back so out. So excited. No shave December. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another ribbon. Right? Yeah, ribbon. This hi, one's Florida. A, this is a... Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. This is multicolored. Again, pastel, Eastery springy colors it's i like it let me see it i'm gonna see um it's not as thick as i would have liked it to be but definitely better than what you can get off the shelf so still happy with that can't wait to use it another springy one Ooh, i really like that hey pam did your son make it to the the ocean that you're not allowed to discuss on a boat that we're not allowed to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one where he's in the Air Force now since he's flying everywhere. Here's a uh, Eastery springy one. The lights are kind of, yeah. Well, of course all the lights are. You always have to, all the lights on. I know, we've got. So I'm trying to make it sure you guys can see that. Um, that looks more like a hippie's 60s kind of theme. <laughs> What? It's kind of springy. It's bright and vibrant and floral. Peace, love, and... Peace, love, and all that jazz. <laughs> Here's that. Thank you. I really like this. It's oh, wait, very is this heavy. the same one? Maybe in different colors. So, here, so uh, where do you guys get tube and ribbon supplies? Do you order online? Um, yes. Mel does that. Craft Outlet, Paper Mart, Trendy Tree... Um, yeah, if you need something in a pinch, I shop, um, the basic big brands out there, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, um, but for, you know, patterns like these, specialty patterns as I call them, I don't know if there's a technical term for it, but I do shop online for these. Okay. Uh, keep us updated, Pam. I like reading your stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're very entertaining. So we have the pink and the yellow of the hippie one. <laughs> Next. Ooh. And there's one with butterflies. And my favorite color. Butterflies. Green's my favorite color. All shades of green. Love green. <laughs> Everyone's going with the groovy. <laughs> I guess now that I look at these in person, they do look kind of um, psychedelic. Online, they looked really cute. Now it will look good. And I think it'll turn out, it really, 
It'll be a really good looking ribbon. I like or it. Or a bow, excuse me. I'm excited. And here's one that's just circles. <laughs> yeah, plain Jane, circles. There we go, right there. Yep, I love this one. Hey, um, if you guys are watching and you're new to our lives, um, I'm sure you were probably expecting. Let us know you guys are your first time watching, and <laughs> we'll apologize for the informalness that we're doing tonight. Um, again, it was just one of those ones where I felt um, I really wanted to sit and just kind of talk with everybody and chat and cut up a little bit before, uh, you know, Christmas time gets in high gear and everybody's with their families and all that. So um, I'm not sure if Mel's planning to do another one before Christmas. Um, I might be doing one more winter wreath. I'm not sure. Um, and maybe a winter swag. But as far as like Christmas specific, no, I'm done. I'm past that. Moving on. Um, what are we working on? We've got some Valentine's, Valentine's um, coming, some Easter coming. Um, and I've got a couple of just everyday, all year round pieces um, in the works. So got a lot of stuff uh, coming up for you guys in the very near future. Um, but yeah, go ahead and, and continue with the order. I'm excited to get to the bottom. I see the mesh, or at least two rolls of mesh. I'm holding <laughs> off on picking up the mesh because I know she really wants to show off the mesh and I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> so we have these ball thingies. They're like wire wire balls. <laughs> That's if you go to Craft Outlet and search, they are under an inch, 1.5 inch wire balls, <laughs> and they have all different colors. Yeah, the color but ball thingies, wires. Every designer has you know one thing that they really love and try to incorporate into a lot of their designs, um, and wire balls. Are one of my favorite I just I like the look I like the airiness um, I like the texture the dimension that they can add to a piece so um, we have them now in several colors <laughs> show them Eddie so we have white and pink uh, some neon green neon blue and purple yep we're agreeing that's purple though that we are agreeing that's purple that's you know not um, pink salmon or you know purple indigo <laughs> all right Kara uh, if you just join us again uh, we just opened up a box that um, Mel you from craft outlet craft outlet yes, yes. I do order um, online from craft outlet paper mart trendy tree um, those are my main ones for ordering online deco poly mesh 21 by 10 yards look at that like, that doesn't scream out Easter. I don't know what does. <laughs> I cannot wait to do this one. So we have that one. So that's a kind of the, you know, pastel colors. So Char, did you um, end up doing up some Santa hats for the season? The hats were really fun to make. And I know I did like two or three versions of the witch hats and then a Santa hat and an elf hat. You know, I um, I love doing the hats. Those will probably come back again. Those are really good. I know you guys are. I think uh, we're probably gonna come up with some some new ideas. Hopefully, um, not completely reinvent the wheel, but we'll come <laughs> up with something. We've got some things that uh, are going on. The wheels are turning. Hopefully, um, if everything goes right in the next couple of months, there's some new things coming out. From uh, our side. So, yeah. um, Rosalie, no, not all of our crafts are wreaths. I do swag centerpieces. Um, we are probably going to be branching out into signs here in the very near future. Um, so, yeah, that's not all wreaths, but wreath related, I guess. So, 2017 was been a very, last half of 2017 has been a really interesting year for us. Uh, Mel got this up and started, and um, shoot, I can't remember when we did the last, the very first live. It was back in September, September. I think. September. Yeah, September. And um, a lot of you uh, <laughs> joined us from there. Um, bumps and bruises along the way um, from that one. Um, someone's nerves um, were very high to the point where now, not so bad now. 
she's doing fantastic now. Um, she's kind of become becoming a pro. Um, you remember Sharon? I was so nervous. I would have to do five minutes of breathing exercises and use lavender aromatherapy all just to get on the live, let alone make it through it. And now it's only about 10 seconds of, you know, yeah, Wusa deep cleansing <laughs> breaths, and then we're good to go. Um, so we're now, you know, y'all fo I've been following back in Kentucky. Um, be closer with uh, Melissa's family and um, give our boys a better quality of life, I think. Um, and they're doing fantastic. They're doing great. Country life versus city life wins any day. I did, um, last night, Hayden, our 11-year-old, came out here in the shop for a little while. And um, I asked him, I said, are you happy? You know, do you like it here? Are you happy that we moved here? And he's like, no, Mom, I don't like it. I love it. So that right there says, um, regardless of, of what else happens, that we made the right decision to bring our boys here. Um, the other thing, too, is I'm not sure um, if y'all caught it, um, but I did get accepted to Murray State University. He's officially I'm a officially Murray State a racer. Murray State racer now. Um, I start in January. I'll be working on a Bachelor of Science in History with a certificate in education for social studies and working to become a uh, history teacher, so. Yo, Mr. C. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there's the, the last thing that came in this box, and it's um, a different color mesh. I can't wait to use this one, too. I think these are probably the my most favorite <laughs> colors of mesh I've seen in a while. So that was all of That's that craft out box. box. When we get the next one, um, if you guys are interested, give us some thumbs up. We'll know you like it, and we'll uh, do another unboxing when the next one comes in. We um, have a little more to show you, though. Oh, yeah, but wait, there's, there's more. <laughs> so we also took a trip today to uh, Sam's. Sam's Club. Tell you what. Never really paid attention to uh, um, the uh, the ribbons that they had there. I was always more of the uh, go for the snack. Go for the snack. <laughs> he uh, uh, the uh, um, ribbon is at Sam's is unbelievable. Fifty Huge. yard rolls. Twenty five yard rolls. Well, some of them are twenty five. Some of them are fifty. But right now they're six ninety six a roll. That's as big as my head. Look at that. And they don't have much ribbon left at all. So if you've got a Sam's Club and you want some ribbon, you better go and get it. This was picked over. There was there were probably less than a hundred rolls left, and I got a few. <laughs> um, so we've got this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see the dot glitters on there and the red. So again, future project. Then another kind of springy Easter one right there. Then Mel, uh, Mel loaded up on some uh, Christmas one, uh, Christmassy ones. Oh, sorry about the lighting there. There we go. See that one, gold. No, just because Christmas is over doesn't mean that I can't stop all these until next year. 25 yards of this stuff. I can't wait to use this one. This is insane. Oh, Sharon, I am so sad. I was sad because we lived in an area where we were Costco members. There were Costcos everywhere. Um, oh, Costco. Now we've come down here, and how fortunate for us, there's not a Costco near, but there's a Sam's, and that's the only place you can get this ribbon, so. So again, some more Sam's. Look at those ones. I think this one's kind of a pinkish, purplish. Hi, Amy. I've been watching you too, girl, with your uh, RV that living. Flinch. That is so amazing, the things that you can fit into your tiny space. Uh, you inspire me. <laughs> uh, these one is, is this one? This one. This one, Sharon. <laughs> this one is five inch. Yeah, five inch. Sorry. Five inch. Here, I'll. 
Well, let's know what you were talking about. My bad. <laughs> well, I may be wrong. Champagne I'm... color. See, so there is a champagne. That's this. Oh, I was yes. just, I was just fooling. I didn't really think that was. Oh wow, there's a real color for that. Some more Christmas ones that she picked up. Jan, when um, we left Washington, I didn't see any at ours um, at our Costco. So I just assumed that they did it. Maybe they hadn't gotten it yet or hadn't put it out yet. West but. Virginia. Hi, West Virginia. Sorry, that didn't mean to say this was West Virginia. <laughs> Hi, West Virginia. <laughs> uh, this is a holiday one, black and white. So there's that one. <laughs> I really, really like this one. Looks like uh, looks like the Jack Daniels label. Oh, you would say that. <laughs> you're such a guy. Um, again, if you're joining us, I'm uh, probably reached everyone who's been here to already repeat it, but I just, I'm sure there's some new people. Um, tonight, just kind of chill, really laid back. Um, just kind of saying hi to everybody before uh, the end of the year. Um, and just talking and hanging out. Yeah, we never just come hang out with you guys. Anytime you see us live, we're, you know, well, I mean, he kind of hangs out, but I'm here with my head down explaining what I'm doing. So this is really nice to be on this side and just to sit here and chat with you guys. Yes, I am still doing the manly wreath. Um, it's just um, right now, or just, uh, I have a couple ideas. So it's just a matter of narrowing it down and, uh, um, you know, I got to get a couple of beer cans. <laughs> oh, good uh, gravy. <laughs> um, maybe a couple of little, the, uh, little single shots of uh, Johnny Jack and something like that. We might Only... should be worried. He, he's taking this <laughs> very literal. We might find some things. Um, <laughs> you know, and then again, I will be in the, uh, the captain's chair when that one comes out. Yeah, so, I'll be over here. Melissa will be on that side and I'll be on this side. <laughs> it's a little different on this side. Um, usually Mel has something to, to explain and talk about. You can finish the ribbon, and then we can move on to what I did last night. Oh, yes. So let's get through the ribbon. All right, so here's that. the rest of the ribbon. This one looks like just a straight burlap one again. It is, straight burlap. So I think we've already talked about these ones. The champagne. Oh, about? champagne. There's that one, champagne. Yes, JD. I'm a JD man. Honey Jack, to be specific. Ooh, Honey Jack and Coke tastes like vanilla. If I want him to do my honeydew list and get it done fast, quick, and in a hurry. Yep. All right, and this is the last one. Did the you say the purple? One. Yes, I did say purple. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, well, that was all of our Sam's Club ribbon, as if that Sam's wasn't Club enough. Sam's Club ribbon. <laughs> so, do you want to tell them about what I did last night? Well, what okay. my aunt did ask me to do. <laughs> so, last night... Melissa was given, or a couple of weeks ago, I think. Um, I didn't know about it till last night. She was given a wreath from her aunt, one of her aunts, um, to kind of spruce it up a little bit, you know, kind of add some life to it. Yeah. Um, what we were given, or what Mel was given, <laughs> was something that looked like it had been pulled from the back of the attic that was lost 20 years ago. It had a funny smell to it. The decorations on it were from maybe another century. I'm not sure. It looked like a wet, rough alley cat is what it is. Yeah. Uh. I did a video. Um, it's on our YouTube channel. If you want to go check it out, you can see um, what it looked like before and the process I took to get it to this. I'm going to hold it up. And no, she didn't cut her hair. No, didn't cut my hair. I'm just, I'm no makeup. I, I literally, um, yeah, you guys get to see me in all my glory today. <laughs> There's no filter. <laughs> yeah, no filter. So, this is the end product. Snowman. Mr. Snowman. This is an evergreen base. And um, it's the one that only has the one wire. It's not a double wire base. Um, and basically all I did was take off all the embellishments, um, you know, air it out a little bit. All right, we're back. Not really sure what happened. That was kind of weird. It's like glitched. But then again, it's been us. And yeah, we glitched. Of course, why not do a live that actually ends up being able to go through all the way? 
So, again, I don't think I have anybody watching. It's okay. Just keep talking. Oh, there we go. I posted. They're all coming back. <laughs> Come back. Come back. We just lost you guys for a little bit. Hi, Arkansas. April, nice to meet you. If this is your first time watching, um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just doing a really... Welcome back, guys. <laughs> ...relaxed. <laughs> Hopefully, we were going uninterrupted, but this... It was too good to be true. Welcome back, Veronica. God Thanks bless. Thanks for finding us again. <laughs> so, at the end of it, you see a video that says, <laughs> Part 1, up at the top, there is a Part 2, and here we are. This is Part 2. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm sitting here last night, and I get a text from my aunt, and it says, Did you fix my ugly wreath yet? <laughs> and I'm like, What ugly wreath? So, I'm asking my dad, What's going on? Well, anyway, I guess a couple of weeks ago, she sent an ugly wreath, as we described, the one from the back of the attic that was lost 20 years ago, and asked me to spruce it up, make it look pretty again. So I did a YouTube video that I posted um, last night, so you guys can check that out. And, um, well, I show basically from beginning to end. I show you what it looked like and the steps that I took to get it to, well, I'll hold it up again <laughs> since we cut off. To get it to this. Ooh. And like I said, it was just a, a simple repurposing project, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing it, and it um, hopefully will put a smile on her face because she's going through a really rough time right now. And uh, I want to make her feel better. So, anyway, guys. Doggone it, we are up to like 70 people. I know, 70 and people, 70 right? People and just I, as soon as I to chill with us. Drop That's out awesome. and just chill out and, you know, hang out and just talk. Hi, Hi. Carolyn. So, if you guys have any questions, do you yeah, um, do you guys have any? We questions? can do, you know, throw some questions at us. You know, we're uh, we'll hang out here for a little bit as long as uh, everybody's interacting. And you want to show them? Oh yeah! So everybody, a while back ago, everybody kept asking, you know, what does Melissa use to keep her stuff from fraying? Um, aside from you know, the hairspray and all that, she uses uh, E6000. So E6000 is an adhesive. You can buy it in a aerosol can. Or pump. pump well, or at the tube. time, there was just the aerosol can. It's the only one that I saw. Well, the other night, we found the pump one. Look at that. I had the glue in a bottle. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Gonna give them motion sickness. Um, are we done with Christmas? Yes. Melissa is done with Christmas stuff. Um, aside from probably um, custom orders that come in. Um, but as far as that, we are moving, we are moving ahead. We are going to go right into <laughs> Valentine's spring. Um, hopefully in that time, I'll get off my butt and be able to knock out the, the manly wreath. The dude wreath. Um, yes, everything's showing up backwards because <laughs> I am using the reverse side. Front facing camera. Front facing camera. So I can read the comments to know what you're all saying. So I apologize um, hopefully next year we will be able to, um, get a camera that Mevo, will, maybe. that will actually, you know, do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she says you're going to give her a vertigo. Sorry. I the same way. Sorry. Like, um, no, but we have a lot of things that we're planning for next year. Um, as far as kind of sprucing us as a, as a company up. Uh, moving into uh, um, some other, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mediums, I would say. Is that a good word? I guess, yeah. I mean, I'm going to, uh, do you want me to talk about that one? No. No? Okay, never mind. No, we'll leave it a surprise. We'll leave it a surprise. Sorry, okay. I almost let the cat out he of the bag on that one. I almost spilled the beans. I almost spilled the beans on that one. Rain <laughs> Rain um, But yeah, so... Just uh, keep an eye out. Um, again, if you guys are enjoying just uh, hanging out with us, maybe we will do this as a, you know, kind of monthly thing is, you know, hanging out with JC. Sure. Maybe. If you guys are interested in, in sitting here and chatting with us, we're down to do this once or twice a month. Just come in. And I know everybody's, and uh, all the other, <laughs> you know, there's other ones out there that, you know, all they do is just create a wreath and, um, and all that. Uh, do we have a Christmas tradition? Like, it's like a squirrel moment all of a sudden. 
I'm talking about one thing. I see a question. I'm like, oh, someone asked a question. Squirrel. Uh, do we have any traditions um, that we like to share? Um, Welcome back. Let's see. I know on, I'm first generation born in the United States. Um, so in my side of the family, um, it was always tam uh, having tam tamales for dinner. Um, always everybody went to grandma's um, and having a, you know, Christmas dinner. On <laughs> what can uh, you do? Country living. <laughs> Let me get it back up on my phone. Oh, man. It's like, take 2017. Yeah, take three. I apologize for our connection. Keep dropping on you guys. And I appreciate you all coming right back to us. And uh, not saying, ah, screw it, we'll go watch somebody else. Um, this is one of the things that we're going to also be working on. <laughs> Hopefully, Hopefully fixing the internet getting issue that's getting... causing us to drop. Um, when we were in Seattle, it wasn't you know as much of a, a problem. But here it's a little problematic being as there's only one cable provider that we have a choice from. And... Um, where we live so far out it's it's hard to get what we need but we've got some ideas that are um in place hopefully be able to implement them after the beginning of the year and not drop as often i know a lot of it's, it's facebook as well um but from our end we'll fix you know the technical aspect from our end and hopefully um, be able to bring you better lives um until then, you may see me doing more recorded videos just so I can bring you content and um, not have to continually Tutorials. yeah, um, stop and start and stop and start because I know that's frustrating for you guys as well. Uh, so. What took you all to Seattle? Uh, we moved to Seattle because I re-enlisted <laughs> um, into a MP brigade in the Army um, and we ended up moving to Olympia. And was stationed at uh, Joint Base Lewis McCord up in Seattle uh, or no, Tacoma if you want to get technical. Yeah. Um, but uh, then we got out and tried to see if we could figure it out there. And we were doing okay. But then, you know, seeing how our sons were doing with school and, and everything kind of pushed us to come back out this way towards the country and closer to Mel's family. Um, well, I guess it. A lot of it is that, you know, when the kids were small, it didn't really matter how much we moved. But now I hate seeing the look in my son's eyes when, you know, we have to tell him he has to change schools again. So um, being a special guy that he is, he already doesn't deal well with change. He's trooper. But, um, you know, we just wanted to put an end to that. And now... That the military isn't telling us where we have to live. We have a choice. And this is where it all started 12 years ago. So <laughs> things have come complete full circle. full circle for us. And we couldn't be happier. Uh, it's just, um, like we said, um, everybody who's, you know, coming in and checking us out. We just, um, you know, every now and then we get a little too busy and get a little distracted with what's going on in our lives. That um, we just kind of wanted to sit here and. Uh, talk with you guys and just chat you guys get to know us a little bit more you guys get to know and understand who you're watching and um kind of right now you'll kind of see our uh, our personalities a little bit yeah. uh do you have a glue skillet <laughs> funny story about that glue skillet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't have a big one um my dad my parents they're amazing they were out here right after we first moved here and they saw how I was struggling using my cordless glue gun. Actually, I love my cordless glue gun. You want to show it? People are always asking about it. Um, I love my cordless glue gun. And it's perfect for a lot of projects. But there are some things um, that you just need a glue skillet for. So my parents heard my dilemma one day. And they secretly um, bought me one off Amazon. And it was a smaller one. And I, I thought that um, it might not work because it was so small. It works fine. It's just um, I need a place to anchor it down so it doesn't move around on my table. Um, hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Um, so once that happens, I'll, I'll show, you know, I'll show you guys what I'm using. But it's just a, it's not the big square ones like you see Nick and, um, you know, the other big names use, like Julie. You don't... It's not one like they use. It's it's round, about that round, and about that deep. 
So, but you don't have to. Cordless glue guns work fine. It's just, um, I tend to get more blood. <coughs> I've still got this one on the palm of my hand. I've got one, well. She burned her hands a lot. Got one right here, yeah. I'm, I'm bad with the hot glue. <laughs> Right, Jan, exactly. There are some things that you need a glue skillet for, and there are some things that you really just need your cordless glue gun. And I love my cordless glue gun because when I've got my wreaths hanging back here and I'm working on them, I can just pull it off the base, and I've got it in my hand, you know, when I'm working. And you can leave it off the base two to three minutes before the glue starts to harden again, and you need to put it back on the base to warm it back up. I don't even know how to pronounce that first name. Ray. Ray Susan. Yeah, she's asking for one for Christmas. A glue skillet or Ooh. a cordless glue gun. They're both, I mean, priceless tools for a crafter. <laughs> Christmas shopping was ended today. Finished. Finished. We are done with Christmas shopping. <laughs> Finally. It was, it was nice because um, my parents went to town with us. Well, where we live, the closest really big town with like Hobby Lobby and, and a mall and like that is 45 minutes away. So we all went today and after we went to Best Buy and Sam's, they took both boys home with them and we were able to finish up. So it was a really nice afternoon. Perfect temperature, 50s, sunny, just a little windy, but it was a gorgeous day to be out and about. Um, YouTube channel. I'll let Melissa answer that channel because she's better with the addresses. What's... Renee, our YouTube channel is um, youtube.com slash Halo Creative Designs. H-A-Y-L-O Creative Designs. <laughs> Named after our sons, Hayden and Logan. Hey, Lo. Yeah. So, but yeah, <laughs> we've got a, a, another tutorial on there. I did um, a tutorial on how to do a Terry bow on your Pro Bow. Um, so check out the YouTube channel. Yeah. And, and all of our Facebook lives, uh, I upload there as well because we have some viewers who don't, um, view us on Facebook. They view us on YouTube only. So I take videos from Facebook and, and make sure they go on YouTube as well. So you can find our whole collection there. Um, so again, it's youtube.com slash halo creative designs. And you'll find this little creative design beauty right there. See that one right there. Yeah. That's on there. And you'll get the whole story about that one on there, too. That's the, the latest one I posted last night, and it's my repurposing project. And I actually love the way that it turned out. And this is a funny story. When I first bought this little snowman guy, he's a stuffed snowman, and I had this vision in my head, and this is back when I first started making wreaths, okay? So I had this vision in my head of this burlap wreath that I wanted to create. And I don't know if you guys are like me, you have this vision in your head, but sometimes it doesn't translate to, you know, pen to paper, basically. So it did not turn out like I wanted. And I broke it apart. I've broken a lot of pieces apart that I wasn't happy with. A lot. A lot, yeah. For every one that you see, there are probably how many that I break apart? About two or three. Yeah, so it's, um, there's a lot. But, um. It's like a really bad breakup. <laughs> so anyway, the first time I created the piece, it did not go well for me, but I did it with burlap on a wire, wire frame. So when my aunt challenged me or tasked me with this uh, project of repurposing her evergreen base, I'm like, this is exactly what I was missing the first time. So I recreated the piece on this base and it turned out exactly what I had envisioned in my head. It wasn't supposed to be glitzy and, and, and blingy. It's just a very simple rustic piece and I rustic. love how it turned out. Rustic. <laughs> <laughs> Probo, Sharon, I love my Probo. Look at how gorgeous the bows come out. I tie hand bows, but I can't make a bow by hand that looks that good. I love my Probo. There will be no pro, no bows on the manly wreath that I create. No. no I wanted bow. him to use at least some kind of masculine ribbon. He says no. He put his Can foot down. Ribbon, really, on a manly wreath? What's wrong with that? Ribbon. It's a man wreath. So if I made a Harley wreath, that's kind of a manly wreath, and it would have ribbon on it. No, but Harley thing is, I've seen some really good-looking women on Harley, and they've been able to pull it off. So it's not necessarily, that's a... You know, so it's not I'm, an across-the-board standard, it's a J.C. Picks and Chooses standard? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's my wreath and I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm creating it. I'm making it. <laughs> <laughs> no bow, JC. Okay, Sharon agrees with you. No bow. No bow. That's right. No, no bow. bow. So you ask Santa for one. Well, maybe Santa will think you've been a good girl this year. All right. Well, I... No other questions? Nothing? Think. Nothing? You guys, um, I hate to go because I'm kind of having fun hanging out. But, um, all right. Well, I guess it's settled. You guys like hanging out with us. We'll try to do this more often because I had fun. I have fun all the time, so... Yeah, he's, I'm the serious one. He's the lighthearted one. We're a good balance. <laughs> She's a yin to my yang. I am. The ham to my burger. Uh, the sugar to your Kool-Aid. The sugar to my Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank beer you. can <laughs> bow. Ooh. What? A beer can bow. A beer can bow. Yeah. And that's going to be a lot of cutting. Of a, that's a lot of aluminum cutting. I... I would be afraid of that. No, that's Ooh, actually kind of cool. You know how cool. I am with cutting and knives? Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Merry Christmas. Um, if you guys don't get to see us again before um, before the new year, I think, uh, like I said, I think Melissa's going to do one more before the end of the year. Um, but if not, again, Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us on this, this trip that we're going through and this journey that we are doing. Um, if it wasn't for you guys coming out here and, you know, hanging out with us, um, this wouldn't be nearly as fun. But I really enjoy doing this with her. Um, um, you know, it's been awesome for us to do this. Um, you know, this is, we like we said, there's a family business. <laughs> family. <laughs> My mom, um, dad. Mom, dad. <laughs> you know, everybody pitches in in the family. And um, we're definitely not like any other buddy else out there um we beat you know we uh we walk to our uh, march to our own beat um, we have our own drum. and uh we've uh merry christmas everyone and enjoying it so again thank you uh, for joining us um merry christmas have a happy new year and a safe new year uh, we look forward to seeing everybody in 2018 wow 2018 i know that sounds crazy this year has just flown by I'm going to be night. 37. Oh, you baby. <laughs> 37. Listen to him. He thinks he's all. Oh, don't worry. There will be one <laughs> alive on my birthday. I will do a live on my birthday. Oh, 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 we're in for it. We'll be doing one soon. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a fabulous rest of your night, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Bye. Close up.